government and the churches, they've had their backs to the wall because of this. And, you know, it shows you the power of truth. I mean, one or two people talking about what really happened has an incredible ripple effect. And um, people began to finally acknowledge, well, okay, what Kevin's been saying all these years is true. I mean, it's not just out of his disgruntled mind. I mean, that's the way the, the, the church was portraying me, like I just had an axe to grind. And then when stuff I was sh showing over the years is now being validated by eyewitnesses, the government and the churches had to respond. So they've responded by thinking that an apology and a bit of money is going to be enough, and now we can kind of move on. But th the trouble is that when you take the lid off something, uh, more and more comes out, and it becomes even harder for them to contain it. And, you know, an example of that, uh, up on our website, uh, hiddenfromhistory.org, mm -hmm. you can, there's, a, there's an interview, a little video uh, clip from a, a woman called Irene Favel, who was at a Catholic residential school when she was a little girl. She's a Cree woman, and uh, she lives in Saskatchewan. And she said when she was a little girl, she witnessed uh, a baby who had been born, like a young girl had been raped by a priest. And when this baby was born, she saw uh, the priest take this little baby who was still alive and throw it in the furnace, and it was burned up. Oh, my Lord. And, this, and she said they were all standing there. They, they heard the little cry. Uh, it, it's so, so disgusting. I mean, to hear this. And yet, it's like there's been no outcry in Canada about this. It's been out there for almost a year. There's been no editorials about this. No, you know, it, it, it's it's only the work we're doing that's that's bringing this out. And that's what I mean about Canada. It's it's a culture of a real silence. It's like, you know, you you really feel isolated very quickly when you start getting into this stuff. And so, frankly, it's it's only by being go, by going outside Canada, by going to the U.S. You know, and, and folks like you, getting the word out, kind of through the underground, if you like, that this this has been coming out more and more and nevertheless creating a lot of pressure on the people who did it. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, we have people that don't believe these residential schools or the sterilization 